Good afternoon, Taurus. This is going to be your video. Um, like I said in my other videos, I have a very big festival I'm doing this weekend. Huge. And um, it's taken a lot of time and energy um, to get ready for that. And plus, earlier this week, I had a power outage. We had a bad storm. I was out of power for about 17 hours. And uh, it was really difficult to um, make videos with no power, no internet, no nothing. In fact, I lost my bearded dragon um, because of the power outage. We just weren't. Pretty sad. So I hope everybody is doing well. Wow, I've never gotten that card before. I'm using my um, my basic. This is my basic uh, lighter tarot deck. Um, They're so bright, and these these cards are so simple. I, I say it all the time. If you are learning tarot, it's too many. This is such a basic deck to start with. Um, the messages are just really clear. I needed a easy deck this week. Been a tough week, but I said I will at least get these two videos made today. All right, come on, me some cards for Taurus, tarot cards for Taurus. And that is a lot of cards. I've never gotten that one either. Not in this deck. It's a good one. Not that they're not all good, but got some good cards today, Taurus. Powerful cards. My fortune telling deck. These are my art oracle cards. They're a little trickier to read, but Andy Warhol. I've never gotten that one before. Literary Witches cards. Wow. It's interesting. All right. So the first card that we have is the Magician card. And the Magician card is actually clarified by the Thinking Man. So basically, um, we create with our thoughts, okay? So whatever we believe about our world, about our reality, is what shows up. Um, and then sometimes um, we align to lessons, different things that we need to learn. So um, there's several things that can manifest. Fears manifest. Um, maybe, like I said, it's a lesson that you have not... 
um, learned yet that has been repeated over and over um, that finally you look at this and you're like, man, why does this same type of situation keep showing up over and over again? Um, it's because you needed to learn it. Um, but also, um, like I said, with this thinking card, you need to be very conscious and very aware of your thoughts and try to stay very positive. I know it's hard sometimes. I mean, I'll just be going along, be positive, positive, positive. Then boom, something happens, you know, like, you know, kind of like I had one on this past week that I had no control over, you know, and I had to ask myself, what is it that this is trying to teach me besides patience and faith? I don't, you know, I mean, sometimes that's what it is. Um, but try to stay in a positive place and really watch your negative thoughts because whatever your thoughts are manifest like magic. All right, we have the King of Staffs, which this is, you know, the King of Wands, basically. Um, same energy. Um, this has to do with the spirit world. This has to do with unseen forces, and um, this is the king of those, which means that you are really mastering um, your spirituality, you know, your spiritual growth. You have really um, leveled up, so to speak, um, with this card. Um, and a lot of times, all of these type of things that happen help you to level up, to get on this level of consciousness, of ascension. You know what's really interesting is we got this card. <laughs> we got this card too and this card. So you are really doing some thinking, Taurus. You are really thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, it's like that's all you've been doing is thinking. Try to practice getting out of your head for a while um, because a lot of times when we're thinking, we're thinking about the past, what's happened in the past, replaying things, or we're worried about the future. And um, when you're thinking like this, um, there is a lack of presence that is needed in order to be in this King of Staffs energy. Um, so really practice clearing your thoughts, um, take a walk out, outdoors, out in nature, um, and practice being free of your mind for a while because this will drive you crazy. Change. And I feel like this changes you. You are going through some changes right now. It's this metamorphosis that you're going through. Um, <clears throat> as you are becoming more and more in this, this King of Staffs energy, um, you are changing. Um, but like I said, just the guidance that's coming through is that you need to stop thinking so much. Um, like I said, it can really deter you, especially um, when you're on a spiritual path, um, because nobody is their mind. I mean, how many times are you sitting and you're thinking, you're thinking that is who you are, that is not who you are. And until you can get out of your head, that is when you can really discover who you really are, um, that mistaken identity, um, that king of staffs. All right, we have the seven of coins. So there's a lot of juggling going on. Um, you know, it's this overwhelmed energy of feeling like, you know, maybe you've taken on too many projects, not being able to say no to people, um, not having time for yourself. And I know when I'm really busy, I tend to overthink more because I'm thinking, 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 thinking about everything I need to do. So that can be a lot of what's going on, too. You really need to pull back your energy. You really need to slow down. Um, that is the message that's coming through with this card. All right, we have Andy Warhol. Eat dessert before dinner. Give your 15 minutes some time. Wanting can be better than having. Well, eat dessert before dinner. You know, I feel like this has to do with letting go of some of these restrictions of, you know, playing it safe, following the rules. Um, you know, maybe at your job, you just don't know how to say no to your boss or um, how to set limits for yourself and for others, and, you know, who impose their expectations on you. Um, so really relax and like I said, start trying to enjoy life more. 
um, give your 15 minutes some time. I mean, this, this whole reading so far has been about slowing down, taking it easy, um, not taking on so much. You don't always have to be doing something. As far as wanting can be better than having, really what I feel like that is, is that um, so many times the, the whole, let me see if I can put it into words. We don't receive something that we are trying to manifest because we don't feel like we can have it. Um, it's more like this dream, like our, in our imagination, it's a fairy tale. And we don't really feel like, you know, we're good enough to obtain that. So it remains a fantasy. So that is basically the energy that I'm getting with this card that wanting can be better than having. Well, you already have what it is um, that you desire. You just haven't seen it yet. It just hasn't shown up yet. So start having gratitude for the things that you want that you don't have right now. And also for the things that you do have because... Um, gratitude is a magnet. Three of staffs. This is all about stepping into your power. And how do you step into your power? You step into your power by being authentic, by stripping away everything um, that is not you. And so many times that can be these, these conventions too, these um, societal conventions that we take on, that we feel like... Um, we have to obtain, we have to kind of stay within the box um, instead of being our authentic self, um, speaking our truth, stepping into our power, being able to say no to other people, um, and putting yourself first. Because to clarify this card, we have natural, authentic, real, and organic. So you don't have to... Um, conform. That's the word I'm looking for. Conform to what people feel like you should. Um, it's, you know, almost like this energy of feeling like, you know, you can't side, you know, you can't be everything to everybody that they want you to be. And all you really desire is, you know, maybe, maybe everyone is eating pie and they're like, oh, you know, you need to eat pie too. This is what everybody's eating, and maybe you want to eat cheesecake. Everyone's like, cheesecake? Why would you eat cheesecake when everyone's eating pie? <laughs> eat your cheesecake. Be yourself. Be real. Be authentic. And don't be scared to be different. Seven of Staffs. Um, there's a certain amount of defensiveness in this um, card of feeling like, you're trying to keep up the status quo, really being resistant to change, trying to keep up that status quo and not wanting to, um, to bend, scared to change, scared that, you know, people won't accept you, um, people won't understand you, um, feeling very defensive about that. And this almost um, has you feeling a little introverted and antisocial where you would rather just be alone. And, you know, that's all right, too, because you're working things out right now. Affirmations to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. I, I um, when there's something that I am trying to manifest, I will tell myself affirmations over and over again so that I believe them because remember what you believe is what manifests and you want to with affirmations you're able to get that into your subconscious your subconscious your ego um, who is telling you that you know this is just a fantasy this is just make-believe you can't have these things whom do you need to forgive as you release old anger and resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. So you have a lot of bitterness right now, um, you know, and, and maybe you're even wishing bad, you know, like I wish this person that hurt me, you know, karma would back into them, you know, with a garbage truck. But when we're in that energy, it blocks our blessings. 
And we don't forgive other people for them. We for, forgive other people for us. So take a look at anybody right now that you might need to forgive and forgive them. All right, we have the emperor. And once again, this card is very much has to do with power, um, stepping into your power. And you'll be able to do that, you know, after you forgive people, um, start doing what you want to do outside the box, um, being real and authentic by using affirmations. And most of all, by being present and being free of your thoughts. This is how you can be in this emperor energy. Really being empowered. And then you can attract anything that you want. I mean, anything. I mean, things will just start coming to you and you just will not believe it. Um, because of that power, that co-creative power that you have, that you just emanate. We have spider, which I'm going to grab the book and see what the words are for spider. Hmm. Let's be towards the back here. Hold on. stuck together. Spider. Focus, planning, digesting. Didn't we just have a card that was almost identical to that? Hold on. I swear we had a card that was almost identical to that. How about focus? And planning. All right. So pay attention to what you're focused on because when you're focused on what you don't want, that's what you're going to get. So be very careful of what your focus is right now. Um, because what you focus your energy on is what shows up. So watch your focus. Um, and really sit down and really think about and not I say think it's really hard to describe but when I sit and I have like a co-creative session with my guidance with my team my divine team I'm not thinking I'm in a meditative state I'm meditating and it's what feels right it's what I know to be true um, this is how I create I do and then you know if there's something that I know to be true then I do focus on it mentally but I feel it first you got to really feel what resonates with you um, you know let's say for example you have the choice between like two jobs you know two different jobs how do you feel about each of them what resonates with you and then tell yourself this is what I'm going to do this is the job that I want and then focus your energy focus your mental focus on it um, make your affirmations and then it is so and be grateful because it's coming um, and so in that sense that's kind of how you plan not in this controlling type of way, but um, with resonance and um, with intention and um, with focus. So with that being said, Taurus, I'm sorry, it's just this energy was really hard to put into words. I read energy and a lot of times there's no words for it, so I have to give some type of illustration. So I apologize, was, the energy was just really difficult to um, explain in words, but I hope I was able to give enough illustrations. So thank you very much for watching.